friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariana Elizabeth, and today we're going to do some yoga for neck and shoulder pain. So I suggest coming to a seat on your mat. I actually have a blanket underneath me that's kind of like folded. It gives me just a little bit of leverage rather than sitting all the way down on my mat. Even if it's just by like just a few inches, it kind of helps me keep my spine upright as opposed to um, wanting to slouch over when my sacrum is all the way down on my mat. So if you have a blanket or a pillow or something that you can just sit upright on for the first part of this, that would be great. Also, I have a yoga strap, which is not needed, but I'm gonna use it at the very, very end for those that do have a yoga strap. If you don't have a yoga strap, you can definitely use a belt or the belt that comes on like a robe or something like that. So very easy, you don't have to absolutely have a yoga strap. You can use um, even a rope or something. And I have two blocks. Again, you do not need necessarily two blocks, but these will come in handy if you do have them. So I suggest you grab them. Um, if you don't have some blocks, you can use two books. Um, I don't know if bricks would be that comfortable, but anything that is fairly dense and can give you a little bit of height. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So first we're going to bring our fingertips to our shoulders. We're gonna roll our shoulders really, really deeply, bringing your elbows all the way together to touch. So dramatic rolls here. Again, there's no speed required. And then maybe take it back the other way. Again, take as many as you need. And right, then we're going to shrug our shoulders all the way up, squeeze, 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 and drop them. So then squeeze them up and drop them. Inhale, squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Maybe one more. Perfect. Now we're gonna take our arms, let's start with the right arm. You're gonna pretend like you're a puppet, like someone has a string holding you by your elbow, and you're gonna fluidly just move your arms forwards and backwards. I almost feel like I'm like a ballerina when I do this. the left arm. The more dramatic you do it, the better it feels. Perfect, okay. You can rest your hands down. Maybe shake it out. And we're gonna take our hands, pass them, Flip our palms so that they're facing each other and interlace your fingers. Then draw your hands in, roll them all the way up, and squeeze up, up, up. Deep breath in. Exhale, unwind your fingers. Bring your hands all the way down. Left hand comes to the right knee. Right hand comes to the ground and send your head gently over towards the right shoulder, chin slightly up. Now you can add some movement in here, just a little. Very gently. And then inhale back up in the center and exhale. Drop the right hand down to the left knee, left hand to 
the floor and chin slightly up, head over towards the left shoulder. Slowly release, maybe roll your neck all the way around, very slowly, very gently. This is your neck we're talking about. And then the other way. Perfect, hands on your knees, lift your chest, and drop your head back. Then dome your spine, drop the crown of your head. One more, lift the chest. And exhale, dome the spine, drop the crown. Perfect. Now this time we'll take our right hand up Gently, gently, I mean, don't even pull, but just put a little bit of weight on it. Take your left hand behind your back and let your head kind of fall over to the side. Do not pull your head, <laughs> just really gently. And slowly release. Left hand on the head, right hand up and behind the back. And release. Maybe roll the shoulders. All right. Now we're gonna go for an eagle. Um, if you're familiar with eagle, then you know where I'm about to go. If um, eagle does become too much for you, you can always take a bear hug. I wanna show this option first. Just giving yourself a nice big bear hug, um, either hand on either shoulder, on the opposite shoulder. All right, so moving into eagle. You wanna place your palms in front of you. Take your right elbow over your left elbow. Then twist your hands and bring your palms together to touch. If this feels comfortable to you, slowly inhale and reach your shoulders up. And exhale, bring them down to the floor. One more inhale, reach them up. And exhale, fold it over. Awesome, release that. This time bring your palms in front of you, eagle on the left, left elbow, elbow over, your right elbow twist, bring your palms together to touch. And inhale, reach the shoulders up. And exhale, fold them over. One more inhale, reach them up. And exhale, fold it over. Perfect, you can come back up and unwind. Maybe wave it out, SpongeBob it out. Okay, now moving um, to sitting on our heels. We're gonna take our blanket from underneath us. You can place it anywhere. You won't need your strap just yet. You can actually begin to get your blocks or your books together if you 
have them, you can just separate them about shoulder width distance apart, but we won't need them quite yet. So coming to sitting on our heels, I'm gonna inhale, reach our arms up high. Exhale, face your palms out. Oops. And reach your hands behind you, interlace your fingers. And then inhale, puff up your chest. Exhale, moving into rabbit. You're gonna fold over. Bring your head directly onto the mat. And using this bind, reach your shoulders, or reach your wrists, your hands, up over your shoulders. If at any point this does not serve you, feel free to release it. And slowly release, bring your hands to the mat, and then roll back up nice and gently. Perfect. All right, coming to our blocks, we're going to move into puppy pose. If you need the blocks, they're there for you, but if you don't, you don't have to use them. So moving into puppy pose with the blocks, you'll place your hands on either block. Separate your knees, about hips width distance a little. Yeah, I'd say about hip width distance. And then you can slowly bring your chest closer to the mat. If you want, you can bring your head, you can bring your head in contact with the mat. Don't forget to breathe here. If you don't need the blocks, and you want to go a little deeper, you can just bring your hands directly to the mat, chest directly to the mat, like so. And I kind of like using the blocks. It gives me a little bit of leverage and control. When you're ready, you can slowly release. Come into a child pose and then bring your palms together to touch. Reverse child's pose, bring the thumbs to the back of the neck. And slowly release that and come back up to sitting on your heels now here if you do have a uh, yoga strap or a belt or a rope you can use it here this is the final stretch of today so I have my two mats yoga strap I really love it um, it's the longer one I don't have the exact dimensions but I'll leave them below it is really, really helpful um, to have a longer one, in my opinion. Then you're going to loop it. It doesn't really matter if you loop it or not, but um, I just looped mine because it's so long, as you can see. And I have the length about, it's hard to say, definitely further than shoulder width, but this is about how long I have it. And I'm holding on to either one um, ends of the strap and what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly lift it up keeping the same tension bring it all the way over behind my back and the goal is to try not to like bend your arms in but to keep them straight so you're gonna inhale then exhale as it comes down. Inhale as it comes up. Exhale as it comes down. Do this a couple times. Initially, it might feel like a lot of tension. You might feel a lot of sensation. But the third and fourth and fifth time you do it, it begins to feel better and better. I 
I'd say I do it about 10 times. So those are some stretches that I love to do when I have really tight shoulders, um, upper body, or my neck is kind of bothering me. Hopefully they were helpful to you. If you enjoy them, please definitely uh, comment below. Give this video a like. If you have not subscribed, subscribe already, and I'll catch you in my next video.